Okay, year five, welcome back to the lab. And today we are gonna do another experiment. All right, so we've looked at friction. So whenever two rub, uh, objects rub together, they cause friction. And obviously the amount of friction de is dependent on, or depends on the surfaces that are involved. So remember when we did our tin, we rolled the tin and it was slower on the carpet than it was on the kitchen floor because there was less friction. <laughs> Amazing. So. Well, then we moved on to air resistance, and air resistance is a force that pushes against moving objects and slows them down, if we remember that from last lesson. So now we're going to go on to water resistance, all right? And water resistance is very similar to air resistance, but, that's it, you guessed it, it's all to do with being in the water, all right? So think of a time when you was on holiday in a swimming pool or you were just at the local swimming pool. Did you ever try and run? Did you ever try and run in the water and find it very, very tricky? And it was quite, it felt quite quite odd, didn't it? Try and run in the water or you try and move your hands about and it's a bit harder. That Well, that's water resistance, okay? That's the resistance of the force pushing against your body, trying to slow you down. Okay, so today we're gonna do an experiment. For this experiment, you will need a bottle, uh, which you can cut the top off. So I've got a big, this was like a lemonade bottle, all right? Or you can have a jug, uh, as long as it's big enough where you can put water in it, but it's, it has to be transparent. And why, when I say that, transparency, it means you, 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 should, you need to be able to see through it, all right? It needs to be see-through. You will also need uh, some Play-Doh or some blue tack like I've got here, because we're gonna be making different shapes that we're gonna be dropping into the water. The third thing is you'll need a timer, okay? And I've got a my trusted timey, timekeeper. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and then last thing to add, if you are using a bottle and you are cutting the top off, mum and dad, if you can do that, please, uh, just cause it's quite tricky to do that. And I don't want anyone getting hurt. All right, so mum and dad, that's your job. All right, so you, here's the plan. I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna have a run through of the experiment, and we're gonna test it out with these three different uh, shapes, and then you guys are gonna go away, and you're gonna do your own experiment, and then you're gonna tell me and report back on what you found during the investigation, okay? So, I've got three shapes. My three shapes are a sphere, which is our little ball there, I've got a cube, a very rough cube, and I've also got a flat disc. All right, now it's very important that all your shapes have the same mass, okay, so they weigh the same for this to be an accurate test. So, as we've done previously, we're gonna do all of these three times. So when you guys go away and do your own experiment, you're gonna do three drops on per shape, so you're gonna drop your sphere three times, your cube three times, and your disc three times. All right, and then we are gonna find our best result. Now this makes our test reliable, and it makes it good and strong. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna do it, and then you guys are gonna go away and do yours. Okay, Mr. Timekeeper, are you ready? Amazing, so I think, should we go for the sphere first? All right, so we're keeping our eyes on. First of all, actually, let's have a think. Looking at these shapes, have what, what, which one do you think will hit the bottom of my tank the fastest? And which one do you think will take the longest, be the slowest to get to the bottom of the tank? Pause me now for a second and have a little discussion with, with your brother or sister or, or mum or dad. What do you think, what shape? Okay, so I, I heard lots of shouting out of the screen there. I think I know which one's gonna be the slowest. I'm not sure about the fastest yet, but we're gonna have a look. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start with Sphere, Timekeeper. In three, two, one. Ooh, 69 milliseconds for that one. And let's try our cube. In three, remember I'm dropping it from exactly the same height. So three, two, one. Oh, 47 milliseconds. So got there a little bit quicker. So I believe that's a cube that's in the lead at the moment. Is that right? Yep. 
Interesting, I wonder why. Interesting. Okay, the last one. I'm looking forward to this one. This is the disc. All right, timekeeper, here we go. I'm gonna drop it flat, that way, all right? So, three, two, one. Ooh, 1 1.41 seconds. So that definitely took the longest to get there. I wonder why? I wonder why? What do you reckon, guys? I think I know why. I think I know why. If you know it, show it out now. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so, the experiment. I want you guys to go away and do this experiment now. All right, so I want you to make a cube. I want you to make a sphere. And I want you to make a disc all out of your Play-Doh or your blue tack. All right, I want you to do it three times. Drop each one three times and record your times. In, and then put them into your table. But I also want you...